you think? Good. All right, guys, what's up? Happy Sunday. It's Sunday, January 5th, 2019, 2020. And I'm actually heading into work. It's Sunday. I'm trying to resurrect this printer. Um, I'm a fucking idiot, and I did a firmware update on Friday. And the very next part that I tried to print after the update, fucking, it doesn't work right or anymore. I don't know. Um, so now I'm trying, I, tr I tried yesterday, Nikki and I drove into uh, work, we tried, or I tried doing a, like a factory reset, and it clears out all the settings, all that stuff, whatever, but the issue that I was having was it uh, didn't um, reset the firmware back to the older version or whatever. So, um, you know, because of that, I'm just like, okay, well, factory reset in my mind says sent you know set it back to how it was from the factory you can always do another upgrade but I'm hoping it was some sort of a firmware upgrade or update problem but I, I don't know oh, god I tried a new extruder yesterday that's a $250 part same fucking problem didn't work and I don't know so I, I just I'm kind of just I'm over it, you know, I, I did want to reprint some of this stuff, I don't necessarily have to, but now I have a broken printer at work that um, somebody's going to try to play with or use and be like, what the fuck happened here, you know <sighs> so that's where I'm at, I'm just you know, I, I'm, I'm tired of dealing with this, this is taking up most of my weekend and, you know, it's one thing if it was working and printing and I was going into you know print more parts or swap stuff out or whatever but that's not the case you know I'm sitting here trying to troubleshoot this and I kinda would rather do it like like I am now over the weekend because if I'm sitting there freaking out and, and spending a lot of time troubleshooting it during the week or during the day the work day you know there's people that sit in that room and you know they're sitting there looking at me like what is this fucking guy doing and how does he have this much free time to fuck with this thing you know so, I, I don't know. I'm just, like, kind of stressing out a little bit, you know? Um, I did find a way to fix the uh, car batteries. Um, or the robot batteries, I should say. Um, what I'm going to do is, a little bit later um, today, I'm going to film a video showing exactly how to fix it and post it up. I'm hoping I can get a bunch of views and stuff from it. <clears throat> when I was googling the issue that I was having or the error message, it just said connection break, I um, wasn't able to um, really find anything. So I found a guy that had like a forum post that said how to do it and it seemed to work. So I'm going to um, make a video essentially of that forum post I guess you could say. So, um, I'm trying to think what else is going on. So that's it. Nikki was over all weekend. Fr uh, Thursday we went and saw Phantom. Friday we went and saw Mary Poppins with her parents. She spent the last couple nights. It was really nice. Um, yesterday we watched a uh, BattleBots episode. And we um, watched, uh, what was it? Captain America Winter Soldier, I believe, um, and then we started, we watched about half of Guardians of the Galaxy 1, so I bought her both of those last year, and we watched the first one last year, but we never watched the second one, so um, kind of noticing that she doesn't really do anything with the gifts that I give her or whatever, like, we never watched both movies over the course of a year, and we never, um, I got her a Christmas, uh, before Christmas, I got her a digital picture frame, and she still hasn't set it up, as far as I know, because she, uh, she's supposed to get like a, an email address and uh, or create an email address for this photo frame. She can in turn give that to me, and then I could um, email photos to her frame for display. So um, I don't know. Kind of sucks. So. Um, 
I do have the battle bot in the trunk. Uh, all of the snow has, has essentially melted away. It's 43 degrees. I'm not even wearing my coat in the car. And um, I'm going to, uh, if I get a chance, I might stop at a parking lot or something and play with the car again. Um, the issue I was having is the tires aren't very tall. So I, I ordered the two inch tires initially, that's what's on it, and there's only like one millimeter of clearance. So any cracks or bumps or blips in the floor surface that I'm driving on, uh, it gets stuck or doesn't work. So what I want to do is um, install three inch wheels, so that'll give me an extra half an inch on either side, and that should basically be perfect. And then it'll be even better or more invertible. So we'll see. Um, I did order all that on Friday. I don't know when it'll come. It might be another week or so. Um, there is a modification that you can do for um, the remote control that will allow it to display the robots battery voltage on the remote control so basically you have to break a connection on the uh, in, in the remote controls electronic board you have to break a connection like scrape it off with like a knife or something and then you need to I think solder like one um, resistor or something across a, a trace so I need to look into that because you know it's, it's rather important you know, you run those batteries too low and you're just going to damage them and stuff, so. Uh, what I can do is, after we play with the robot, hook it up to the charger and the charger will tell me the actual uh, voltage. So I'll have to do it that way in, in the meantime or whatever. Um, I don't know, so. Apparently there's also a few things that you can like 3D print for the remote control. Like you can add like these extra wings that make it a little bit wider to hold on to and you can add like these little stick guide things that you put over it. I think it's like a safety, it keeps the stick centered or whatever. So when you um, power it on or whatever it's, it, it's uh, okay, I, I don't know exactly. Um, all kinds of different stuff to do so. I haven't even looked into that because the 3D printer's broke. So that's it. Um, I'm gonna go to work, fuck with this for a little bit. If I can't figure it out, then I'm just probably gonna say fuck it, I don't know, and return all that the pieces and parts and stuff that I bought. Um, you know, I have a $250 extruder that I need to return that I barely use. I have a $40 spool of PLA that I ordered that I'm not gonna be able to use. And I also have that $50 battle box, so Blacksmith and Bite Force that we were going to return. So I was thinking about trying to fuck with the uh, Blacksmith tonight. If I can fix them or transplant the broken parts from one robot to Blacksmith and fix them, then I'll return like Bite Force and Beta or something, or Beta or whatever. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how much time I got. It's already almost 2 o'clock and it's going to be, you know, hour and a half driving to and from work, plus however much time I spend there fucking around, so, what a mess. Um, so, I don't have much else to report on, uh, I'll, get, I'll let you guys know how it works, but, um, really, I, I don't want to say stressed out, but just, like, not happy with this printer situation, you know, this thing shouldn't break that soon, you know, I was, like, maybe I, maybe I, uh, jinxed myself, but remember, like, a week or two ago, I was talking shit about how... Um, you know, they didn't even, even use that printer. There was like, I don't know, 70 hours of print time or less on the thing, and now it's at like 140. So, or maybe it was like, what was it, 60 hours? I can't remember. If I look back at the videos, I know I'm, I annotated it, but that's it. Uh, stay tuned for more. All right, so, um, been trying to figure this shit out forever, but... I was able to download old versions of the firmware and using, I thought I had to use the old software, but actually using the new software, it looks like I can push an old firmware to it. We're going to see if this actually works. Um, so, yeah, I'm transferring from my laptop to the printer. Um, it's a long shot, but, you know, I'm hoping that I can reload an older version and it'll fix it. We'll see. 
Another update video. I was having nothing but problems. I couldn't get it to fully transfer the file to the printer. So I tried hardwiring my computer, hardwiring the printer, and it wasn't working. So verifying firmware. Let's see what it says here. Now, I still have no clue if this is going to work. So I'm trying to downgrade the firmware. So this thing might say, well, that's an older version than what I have. So fuck you. I'm not installing it. We will see what they say. I don't know. So in order to get it to use the USB instead of the network, or I should say, to get it to use the hardwired network, I needed to connect it via USB to my laptop, go into the settings, and then disable the Wi-Fi. So very weird that I couldn't do it from this unit itself. It really, really wants to be on the internet, you know. So it like almost defaults to Wi-Fi because probably it's easiest for people to get it on there via Wi-Fi or whatever. But um, very interesting how they have it set up with um, the way they kind of like lock you out of doing certain things and stuff. So originally the documents were saying to use an older version of the software called MakerBot Desktop and to downgrade the firmware and all that. Well, it like I couldn't get that to work. So then I was like, well, let me, you know, I, I saw an article that said, well, the newer um, printers need MakerBot print. So I'm like, let me like poke around in here and see if there's an option to do firmware updates in this newer program. And sure enough, there was. I just had to go into utilities and do it. So, God, I hope this works. All right, finishing startup. Booyah. We'll see what they say. I just played a little ditty, a little song. Um, what I'll do is after I get this going, as long as it that firmware sticks, I'll re-enable Wi-Fi. I'm guessing. I don't know. We'll see. Or I'll hide the cable that I ran. Right now that's running over the floor here. I'll have to run it under the floor, but... Um, I don't know, it might be a good idea to do that anyway, to be honest. Dear God. Okay. Let's go to info. 2.2.1. Okay, we're looking good. Settings, what is this? Why is there a little... Oh, it wants me to update the firmware. Let's, how about no? We'll have to find out really quickly here if this will work. <sighs> All right, um, let me take the little lens cap thing off. See what they say. Maybe that's better quality, I don't know. Um, well, uh, shit. What time was it when I was heading into work? I think it was a quarter to two. Um, it's now a quarter to five. And I accomplished what I wanted to try to do, which was downgrade the firmware. I figured out a way to do that. That was frustrating. But I was still unable to resolve or fix the problem. So, um, huh. Not good, not good at all. So um, I made a, I opened a ticket to the company that, that you know, builds or makes these things. Um, you know, I have it, have the printer registered to me or whatever, and it says the printer was purchased in 2015. And I don't know, I told them, I said, you know, I, I, I think the issue is it's not spinning or turning the carriage motor. Um, so I finally found out the name of the motor that I believe is, is you know, not working. Um, it's in the gantry, which is the thing that holds the extruder and moves, like XYZ. 
or I'm sorry, it moves X, Y, the bed moves Z. Um, but that motor is called the carriage motor. So it, it, it has a, a special castle nut on it and there's not much to it. I mean, so, you know, the castle nut is what connects into the extruder and the carriage motor spins, spins the castle nut, which spins the little gear inside of the extruder. And it's all automated because, you know, it uses that to feed the filament, but it doesn't just feed the filament constantly. It stops and starts feeding based on the print, right? So, like, if it's not printing, it doesn't spin that carriage motor and when it prints or whatever. So, to be honest, it's probably the motor that was used the most. Um, I'm wondering if loading and unloading the filament kind of fucked it up, I guess. I don't know. There's not a whole hell of a lot to it. It's literally just a stepper motor, so... Uh, I, I don't know. I sent some diagnostic logs to the company, attached them to the ticket. Um, I'm hoping they're going to be able to look at that and tell me what the fuck it means, but I'm hoping, you know, they'll be like, yeah, it's definitely that motor, or I, I don't know. But I consider myself a MakerBot Replicator Plus expert at this stage. Um, I've used and downloaded the old software, the new software. I've used it plugged in via USB cable. I've used it over Wi-Fi. And I, it, I don't know. I've been dicking around with this thing for, well, since Friday, right? Um, I did find the old um, firmware files and all that, and that's what I was working on today. So that's what was a big pain in the ass was trying to flash the old firmware. So I read somewhere that said, oh, if you want to like downgrade, you know, go and use the old software. I'm like, oh, okay, well, whatever. Maybe the new software doesn't do it. So I downloaded the old software um, at home and realized it wouldn't, you know, give me any of the options to do anything until I had it connected to a printer. Kind of makes sense, right? It needs to know which printer you're, you're, you're working with before it gives you all the features or options. So I brought it, I got into work, powered up this thing, and it did say, you know, with the old software, it says, well, this printer does not support um, remote upgrades or something, which is not true, but okay, well, it was the old software. So, all right, fine. So I go to reading around, searching, and it mentions uh, something like, oh, you can just do it with the new software for the newer printers. I'm like, okay, well, this is classified as a newer printer, even though it's almost five years old so I get the news I already had the new software I opened it up I start clicking around poking around and I see like oh look there's an actual firmware update option in the new software I didn't even think to look there first so the printers on Wi-Fi my computers on Wi-Fi they're connected to the same access point um, they can see each other whatever so I'm like fuck yes yeah. so I pull down this old 2.2.1 or something firmware um, hit the you know load it load button or whatever and it starts sending the file to the printer well you know I stepped away from the computer because it was gonna be it was gonna you know take maybe 10 minutes or something to load this file I uh, step away go take a WAS whatever go grab a snack come back and my computer had turned off because it wasn't on power it wasn't like uh, plugged into power and I have it to I don't know go to sleep or something after five or ten minutes I'm like fuck so I try, you know, I power it back on, you know, sure enough, there's a little error message on the printer. I look at that, all right, try to redo it. And I tried resending the file from the computer to the printer like five or more times. And it would like get to 10 or, you know, get to 30 or 40, 50% and it would like error out. So I'm like, all right, well, apparently maybe it's taking too long to transfer the file through Wi-Fi. So I get some physical cables out, run them, to from the access point to my laptop run it from the access point to the printer and um, do it again and it's still airing out and shit and then I look at the printer and the printer still says it's on Wi-Fi I'm like what the fuck there's no option on the printer to turn off the Wi-Fi to use to tell it you know hey use the physical connection don't use the fucking Wi-Fi all right so I 
mess with it some more and I'm looking around I'm like alright how do you disable the damn Wi-Fi so it says oh you have to connect to it with a USB cable and then from the software on your computer disable Wi-Fi on the printer and I'm like what okay so I do that I finally get I couldn't get it to like connect to the damn printer using the cable um, the USB cable I have a cable plugged it in so I had to like reboot my computer finally get the cable to or get the software to recognize it via the cable instead of just Wi-Fi go into the settings disable um, Wi-Fi on the printer okay cool so then it's using the hard line connection and then I'm like well can I just load this shit through the USB cable like now that the USB cable is working so sure enough that's what I did so um, reloaded the file it still took a long time but I got it to push the old firmware file to the damn printer um, through the USB cable all right cool I um, what else so then I you know I sit there and fucking diddle with it and sure enough um, got it working so and it, it took forever but it flashed the old firmware and actually has it like listed now as running the old version of the firmware um, if you guys remember yesterday I tried the factory reset and that did not work it still said it was running the newest version of the firmware that I flashed on Friday so okay you know it, it's not technical or super complicated by any means but it's one of those things where um, you know, I, I, I don't know, it's just, it just takes forever, and then when it fails, and it takes a, forever again, and then again, and again, okay, so, it's all good, so I, um, you know, so I, I tested it out, and sure enough, it still will not fucking feed the filament into the extruder. And I kind of almost have the feeling that my old extruder is jammed or something. I can't even like manually push it all the way through. So that's fucking dank. So I don't know. I don't know. So I opened up a support case. Maybe they can look at the logs. Maybe they can determine. The, the only thing I can think is it's either the, the carriage motor or the ribbon cable for the electronics, which seems to be working because you know it can heat the extruder via that same cable and what else and it's actually moving it moves the the gantry head so I would I wouldn't think that that cable is bad but um, I found a, a reddit thread from about a year ago where a guy posted that he was having the exact same issues that uh, that I'm having and somebody said, well, it does sound like it's your carriage motor. Um, you know, they gave him a link or, or two on on um, eBay. You know, hey, here's one for sale, you know. And supposedly the guy said he replaced it or whatever. And, uh, and he still was having problems even after replacing the carriage motor. So I'm like, what the fuck, dude? So I don't know what's going to happen working through the company because they do have a parts shop where they sell pieces and parts and motors and stuff. I did not see the carriage motor listed. Maybe, I, I was going to say maybe they, they, it uses the same motor for all three motors, but I, that doesn't really make sense, so I, I don't know. But I'll just see what they say. I mean, I'm at their mercy at this point, so maybe they can troubleshoot it for me. Um, obviously, they're gonna wanna sell me either a new printer and or a warranty for the old printer, because the warranty is well run out. I don't know what, if it, was, it would've been a one year or three year, I don't fucking know. Um, so we'll have to kinda see what happens, but I'm just like, fucking A, man. I'm kind of so over spending this much time on it, you know, it's, I did grab the printer, I brought it into the data center, so it's not in that room, so if I gotta rip it apart to get to those motors and stuff, I can do that, um, you know, it is what it is, but, um, fucking A, man, it's an expensive printer, I, I kind of have a feeling I'm gonna end up buying, having to buy a whole new printer to give to this fucking guy to put in his house because it's not working. I don't know. Stay tuned.